Last week, we had so much fun meeting new friends and swimming with the sharks. We spent our last day in Compass Key exploring around and visiting the beautiful beaches. And our furry crew members, Zorro and Callie. Nine months ago, we left our home in Colorado, and we've been living on our boat ever since. Join the Kelpie crew and watch us go wherever the wind may blow. We sailed more south to Musha Key. Musha Key is a private island owned by David Copperfield. David Copperfield commissioned an artist to sculpt a statue of a life-size mermaid overlooking a grand piano. Then he sank the sculpture in around 13 to 15 feet of water. So since we left Norman's Key, we've been basically island hopping south. We need to make it to Great Exuma tomorrow because we're picking up our friend at the airport. So even though we've been island hopping, we haven't done much exploring on the islands because we're kind of in a rush to get down to Great Exuma. I've said this once and I'll say it again. I like to sail without being in a rush. But we've kind of been rushed all week to get down to Great Exuma. But for a good reason. Lines out, hoping to catch a tuna, but we'll see. But I'm excited because we're going to Georgetown. Are you working? We have made it what are you doing? to our destination in Georgetown. I'm gonna anchor where there's protein. Yeah, so we're gonna anchor where there's propane. We're almost out. It only took us like five hours to get here, which is not bad. Going like seven off the entire way. All right, so we're in Georgetown. So it's finally time to fill the propane tank up. Uh, it's been like a month and a half that we've been running off our last tank. We're in Georgetown right now. It's pretty crowded Anchorage. You can see behind me. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna pull these tanks and take them to shore and go fill them up. Spot new, not too far up on that beach, so it should be cool. All right, so our propane's in here. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff. Take all the fenders out. wrench very important that's weird about this that I didn't realize the first time I did it was that it is reverse threaded and that made me like break a wrench almost probably break something else but yeah that was a pain so while I'm thinking which way to go I need to pretend I'm tightening and there it goes loosening Righty loosey, lefty tighty. It's backwards from the normal righty tighty, lefty loosey. Let's see if you get close. You can kind of see some of the damage I did when I was going the wrong direction on this thing originally. It's a 
rounded in some spots, but it's still working. I'd like to replace it at some point. to the dinghy. This one still feels pretty filled though actually. Surprisingly, we're gonna fill it up anyway. Actually a lot of gas in here compared to what I thought there would be. Yeah we even had someone in Nassau tell us that they could not find where to get propane. All right, so you might remember John from one of our old episodes, but John's here to meet us again in the Bahamas. I'm about to go pick him up. Um, he got harassed in customs for like an hour and a half because he had some parts for the boat and they wanted some receipts, so I had to find that, contact the people who sold it to me, get it over to them, so they could get 80 bucks. Ain't real pain, but we're glad John finally made it, so he's gonna be over the beach, I'm gonna go get him. All right, so I'm here with John America, who's joined us on the boat for a couple days. Um, yeah, he was kind enough to go through customs for us and uh, bring us a couple of things. So, yeah, we just wanted to kind of reenact that a little bit. So, you know, we'll just pretend that I'm the customs agent and you know, John is John. So, the first funny part is everyone who was staying at a hotel or going to a cruise ship or something like that is like, just go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Mm -hmm. And then John hands over his paperwork and says, private vessel so sir um would you happen to have any boat parts <laughs> that's you know the first question they asked and john was like you know i think i have a couple <laughs> and you know we don't we don't even have close to what we had there there but um you know these are some example generator parts that he had filter air filter fuel filter you know, just some basic things so they're like um yeah we're gonna need receipts for that you're gonna owe his duty on that. I thought if it was for propulsion, he'd be okay. So I was like, oh, just tell him it's for propulsion. You'll be, be I like tried. That. Did not go well. Yeah, he tried that. Unfortunately, uh, they said they wanted receipts. So I went and got receipts for you know, most of the parts. At least for these two. <laughs> and some of the other ones to the generator. Yeah. And then they saw this, a man filter in the package. And they were like, so you don't have receipts for this included in there? And they're like, well, now I'm questioning everything you have. <laughs> so it wasn't just that. It wasn't just the filter. Now they were like, we want receipts for everything you have or else it's ours. Yeah. And you just leave it there and you know, maybe you can come back for it or maybe we'll just keep it. And luckily I had all the engine parts only in the one suitcase. So I still had two other bags, but I kind of, you know, kept them under the counter. <laughs> so let's, they were out of sight. <laughs> so let's go through some of, the, some of the things that came up. So sir, uh, can you explain why you have bug zappers and three of them uh, granted these were in new packaging as well <laughs> well you know my, my friends may have gotten used to all the bugs but i'm not so you know i thought it'd be a good thing to bring um but you know i mean they might be brand new but they're they're definitely mine i'm definitely gonna bring them back with me so yeah we'll see about that <sighs> there well um sir <laughs> I've seen, I, I'm looking at your shoes and I'm looking at these flippers and they don't look like they would quite fit. You'd be amazed. Um, uh, <laughs> no, but, but, but in reality, uh, yeah, so those again, you know, pre-owned, just bringing them for, for my friend to use, uh, but they're actually mine, so they will be coming back with me when I leave. So you need three pairs? Always good to have backups. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll just set those aside for now. So, uh, yeah, these look realistic. I think these were still had the new packaging on them. But luckily, we wear the same size, so it would have been yep. fine with this. <laughs> that one wasn't too bad. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> A climb... Wait, wait. Sir, two climbing harnesses? Yeah. Uh, so, you know, again, good to have backups. Thought we might do some hiking. You know, <laughs> the weather's warm. Good to have little safety harnesses. You never know when you'll need them. <laughs> yeah, those are my Bozeman's chairs. 
Okay, um... Uh, yeah, if, you like drink flavors? Yep. These are, you know, surprisingly tasty. Even though it's very concentrated. Hey, you... You would, uh... You'd be surprised, you know? Everyone has their own thing. Yeah, I wanted these. <laughs> these. Thank you. A knife? So yeah, three diving masks. Yep, for all the different kinds of diving that one might do. And why would... But these are a new packaging. They're obviously brand new. Uh, yep. Because I don't really know what I'm doing. So I just kind of grabbed some stuff. <laughs> trusted that my friends know what's going on and <laughs> this one's kind of weird it's like a this one's also great if you're gonna rob people yeah right <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so four snorkels say that. <clears throat> lots of backups lots of backups yeah very uh avid snorkeler yeah. two might be good. two gopros uh narcissism classic case you know Got to gotta always have my good side on camera, no matter what it is we're doing, so it's good to have multiple. Sir, this makes no sense. <laughs> 20 bungee cords. Uh, all right, so, so basically, uh, my friend who I'm going to visit is um, close to my size, but a little bigger, so he was telling me I could probably fit in some of the um, equipment that he has for, you know, doing some of those water sports. Like, there's the one where you kind of fly. I don't really know. He just told me that I would, it'd probably be a little little big on me, so I just kind of grabbed some bungee cords, hoping I could strap myself in okay and everything would be fine. <sighs> okay, sir, I, uh, we're, <laughs> we're going to need to see receipts for all of this. <laughs> or you could just give me $80 now. I will take it. Yeah, we'll call that a deal. Yep. <laughs> and Do you that's, take credit card? And that's your, <laughs> that's your Bohemian... No, we don't take credit card, only cash. That's your Bohemian Shakedown. Yep. So, yeah, um, thanks, Sean, for coming on the boat. Thanks for bringing Got all the stuff, stuff that you are going to bring back to the U.S. now. Um, obviously, since that's what you said you would do. Yep. Load yeah. the suitcase right now. We're going to load it right back in here. <laughs> it's just somehow going to be lighter. Step in. Be careful. Okay, hold on. Alright, hold this yep. red line. And we're off. Right. And there's the dinghy dock. Careful. No, it's not on purpose. Prime spirits and liquors. That's what you need, Lauren. Make the dinghy ride nicer. <laughs> yeah, I like having this front camera. The front thing is nice. A lot of people So he's got. He's got in Georgetown, uh, Kimmy Victoria Harbor, I believe. Whatever's idea was to set up a liquor store at the dinghy dock. Weird. We are headed in to see what we can find. Go to the market. We got John with us. And Lauren's in the back. You need some souvenirs, Sean? Hello. I know you need souvenirs, Sean. Lauren's in here. Oh, Lauren, you want a pig for Zorro? Wow, look how cute it is. You destroy that thing in five seconds.
<laughs> Thank you, ma'am. I like that. What? Why do you like it? There's a turtle on it. That's how she haggles. <laughs> I told her she had to haggle here. Oh. All right, so we just we just saw how Lauren haggles. Let's do an example. Let's say, uh, <laughs> can you ask me how much something is, John? <laughs> how much is? <laughs> how much? Could you pick it up, please. All right, this is our example of Lauren haggling. No question. Are you, you're asking that, right? No, you're supposed to ask. Oh, okay. How much? Uh, ten dollars. How about twelve? Making our way towards the boat.
Thanks for watching.